Hey guys, and welcome to House of Ashes. It looks like this is giving me Xbox configurations, which is not going to end well because I am naturally using a PlayStation 4 controller. Um, yeah, that, that could be an issue. Uh, maybe I can fix that in settings? I can't remember. Uh, and this is the third entry in the Dark Pictures anthology. The first one being Men of Medan, and the second one being Little Hope. Supermassive Games are the ones who brought you brought us until dawn i absolutely love until dawn here we go here we go there we go fixed i may have to change sensitivity but we'll worry about that later boom um yeah and i absolutely love until dawn i watch it probably at least twice a year i'm gonna be honest with you i really do enjoy the game i probably watch it a little too frequently to be honest uh yeah sure whatever is there a, is there a ultra great do that Cool. So let's get stuck into this one. I'm quite excited to uh, play this because Ashley Tisdale plays uh, one of the characters and I haven't seen her in anything in a very long time. So I'm quite excited to see her in this. Yeah, okay, my vote's gonna have to go up. Now, I'm not quite sure what uh, history we're looking at here. Um, she's some sort of military person for whatever reason, they end up exploring ruins. Uh, I think they're actually Sumerian ruins. I'm not entirely certain, but I saw some of the, the, the old writing and script. Cuneiform? I really don't know how to pronounce that word. It looks like that, which has to be somewhere in sort of like the old Iraqi sort of area. So, oh, it's just right there. Cursed Akkad. So it's Akkadian. Um, down here in the corner. So there you go. I, mean, I was off. Off by a fraction of land mass. Works for me. New story. Uh, challenging, forgiving, lethal. <laughs> I'd love to do forgiving, but I'd never forgive myself for doing that. So let's go. To have control, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Started playing Little Hope with her. Never mind. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Hosea 8 7. That sounds Bible y. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Oh, the curator is... Oh, we're not even getting an introduction from the curator. This is unusual. Others lead to death. Yeah, usually the um, the curator welcomes us and, and is all mysterious. Choose wisely. Hi, Crow. Because that's not ominous at all. I think I need to turn my volume up. That was very um, dramatic and non-scary. Hi. Ew. No. No, 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 no. Ew. Huh. Two, two, three, one, BC. Oh, God. I don't want to die! Silence! Oh shit, subtitles. Oh, Your well. words are meaningless here. Your blood will pay the debt our king demands. Your sacrifice will lift his curse from our land. General Bellato! Forgive me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. The gods smile on you. For now. Take this one back to the cell. I'll deal with him later. His skin is so smooth. Look at his shoulders. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. What did they do that was wrong? General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The accuracy. God sent you to destroy my kingdom. I can't talk because there's no subtitles. I know it, girl. <laughs> I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? 
There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. No matter. The blood of this army will nourish the sands. The sacrifice will be fulfilled. Starting with this one. <coughs> Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Uh, compliant by a command to say nothing. Would you prefer I used your blood instead? You have your orders. Kill her. <laughs> Press it before the timer runs out. Okay. I'm so bad at QT. I'm terrible. I miss things all the time. Especially because it's early morning and my hands <laughs> are exactly dexterous at this moment in time. Now you're just being needlessly violent, sir. I don't know what that button... Oh, I see it. I see what the button is. You do not have to attack. I'm going to... Can I just miss? Where are we going to get this poor guy killed? Yeah, I'm probably getting this dude killed. You've spent too long killing the calves in our cells, Valatu. You've lost your edge. Just a girl. Nothing but a girl. A girl? I see only a Gutian demon. <gasps> A demon. If you cannot kill in my name, General, then perhaps you can die for it. Fight well. Really? This guy let himself be taken advantage of like that? He did. So very dead. Okay, in theory, I've got subtitles on. Their eyes just look so glassy and blank. <laughs> This temple looks amazing. I was trying to say at least the, the um like the armor is, is realistic and, and historically accurate because it's all leather and, and uh, I think it's bronze, but mostly the leather. They didn't use uh, as much metal in their armor as they did use leather. Now what's this about plagues and killing people and and who's attacking you? And why? And if your king is mad, why don't you just slay your king? Oh god. 
<laughs> what is the creature? What is the entity in this game? I actually don't know, and this is making it very creepy. I, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna get you killed. Good um. I love the chopesh that he's wielding. It's probably one of my favorite uh, handheld. Oh no! Swords. What happened here? Oh, oh, oh god. <laughs> he alone survives. We don't have time for your bullshit right now. Ah, you saw it, you saw it, you saw it! Help me, Kutia! I don't think it's true if you can keep out the army of whatever the hell that is. Is that because of the plague? What have you, Arcadian, done to unleash such force? We've been cursed. Our king has cursed us all. We thought you were the demon. Don't you something to barricade this bit? Sack the temple at Kutur. He builds this temple to call for forgiveness. But the gods don't listen. And now he too is silent. He's an idiot for sacking a temple. Even my daughter's death couldn't wake me to the truth. I follow the fool into the abyss. Don't let his ruin become ours. I still think you should uh, have a barricade on this. What can we do? There is a way out through the catacomb. You think I should trust you? I mean, it's that or no death, bro. Yeah. <laughs> there's really only two options here. I'm sure the creature isn't faster than you. Creatures, plural. Close the door behind you. Or not, you know, whatever. I love ancient history, so this is just, this is great. This is ticking all the boxes so far, apart from like the terrible graphics engine they're using and the unrealistic animations. Ignoring that, I'm enjoying this. Help me with this. I have to say, these controls aren't very intuitive. Like, I only guessed that I had to spam that, but I, I wouldn't say that the uh, button really indicated that I had to do that. The way out through the storm. I'm gonna get you both killed, don't you worry. Yes. For the builders when they're done. Wait, Go. what? You murder the builders when they're done? He's got torches. I suppose there's a brazier right there. Probably wouldn't be too concerned by excess light. Your arm can be seen, buddy. Oh for God's sake. I bad at this one. This got someone um, almost killed. Oh, come on! I hope the buttons are delayed. That's why I was pressing kind of early. Guardian, scared of a rodent? It... I have seen it all now. Yeah, they're so dead. I hate that one. All this death I just don't trust the responsiveness of the controller. They died in vain. What a mad king. Is this L2? R2, sorry? Yeah. And then you move it. That's my new. It's just a scarab, bruh. Or a beetle of some kind. A roach, perhaps? You'll survive. Okay, find the secret exit, search the catacombs. Yeah, the graphics aren't that great. That's okay. We're not here for the graphics. <laughs> Let's face it. Is this the mad, uh, mad king? Oh, tablets! Premonition unlocked. We're using tablets. 
tablets are risen. So it's like cursed undead. Cursed dead. Hard to say. Okay. Well, that doesn't bode very well now, does it? Now, that's obviously the way we have to go, I think. But of course, we finished checking the chamber. So we've got a mono. Uh, 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 an altar here. We are cursed by our own actions. Why did your king create the temple? Are we, are we doing something here? Same story that history has taught us. For gold, for glory. We're gonna see the dialogue is all I get. Cool, great, go chat. I'm sure that was useful. Okay, nice little circle we've done there. Um, let's try this door. Assuming this is a door. Here, help me with this. so dead. If you're relying on me to get you out alive, you came to the wrong person. You first. We're safe down here. Huh. You first. Yeah, I'm with him. <laughs> oh god, you know. What is this that adorns you? The history of Gutian. You are guardians fought hard to destroy our people. But mark my words. Our story has just begun. How do we get out of here alive? Respectful. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Is a friend. We help each other. Keep that shit out. There is always hope. You don't know when you're going to be attacked in two seconds. Thank you. You, you had to sheet them just to shake hands and whatever. You men are weird. This is an interesting angle. What was that? Dude, I don't even How know. Many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. I can't really see anything, so if you expect me to, to move out of the way or something, I'm, I'm not going to be any good at that. Over here. Because that wasn't creepy. Oh, that's very creepy. My thumbs aren't fast enough, actually. I'd have to put the controller down. Oh my god, I can't see a thing. No escape. Kill it. Is to stand together. No. If we both run, then we both die. Ready your sword. Oh, duh. I'm not gonna betray this man. He's my only hope for survival. <laughs> That's a good idea, actually. Blinded by light. He's used to the dark. Right, that's it. One slash and the dude's on the ground. Uh, Holy shit, I almost missed that. I was not ready for it. Oh my god, I think I'm sure it's on easy. <laughs> I'm gonna get those two killed. Yay. Okay. Go protect your friend. God, he's got like spikes on his back. Ugh. Oh. You just you just abandoned him? Yeah, I would have saved him. I was gonna say, why are you going that way? You were trying to escape him from going that way. Whatever, dude. I would have 
I would have fought the one in front of me, and that was it. <sighs> but you know, whatever. I guess panic can make you do strange things. This isn't going to be the version of the song that sounds country, is it? Could be his accent that throws me off. Oh, that's right, it's the metal version. <laughs> I remember now. Here's the lovely curator. Gonna swank as usual. This is barely out of my ears. Survival depends on the choices you make. They will be as a compass guiding you through the unknown. Will you find the path to salvation or be lost in the darkness? Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. It's good to see you again. You're probably keen to get started. Let us not dally any longer. As you are aware, I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. It is filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies. Loyalty and betrayal. Life. And death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although, I have been known to bend the rules time to time <laughs> to descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave or extremely foolish perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye let me give you a few words of advice throughout the story you will encounter certain pictures Pictures which allude to possible outcomes. The tablets. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future best avoided. That's great, but it didn't say how to avoid the future. Sands of time have run out for us. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Hey, optimism please, sir. There's enough negativity going on my side. <laughs> Up, 2003. Oh god, this is a very long time ago. Why 2003? What an interesting choice.
Jason Kolchak, First Lieutenant USMC Force Recon something something. Colonel, good trip. Eric King, Rational Insecure. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Um. Apologies for arriving early, Lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. Glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, we're good to go. You should read this. Didn't you hear? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Kolchak. First Lieutenant Kolchak. Well, wow. the briefing room? Yeah, the facial animations leave something to be desired, but that's okay. So why y'all in Iraq? That's the question. Really? Is this the time or place for this? What's up, Marine? Can't you keep up? Rachel King, CIA Field Officer Commanding Abrasive. Nick K. Defensive Romantic. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, uh, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you've, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Rachel King? I'll be there in five. Same last name. Fuck, it's him. Brother? He's early. Your husband, you mean? Wait, what? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Put your clothes back on. Straighten up. She's cheating on her hey, husband? Rachel, are you going to tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's got to be over. Come on. Uh, find a way to tell him. Well, I don't know. Do I want to, do I want I to continue this relationship? <laughs> That's bullshit. There's never a right time. Soon, Nick. I promise. Soon. So they give me an actress I like, but a character I don't. This is a great start. I'll see you at the briefing. Cheaters oh, are not okay. Is it a lighter? Yeah. I what the loading screens are for. You'll have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. Oh, that's why we're in 2003. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Right. Because Saddam Hussein was all about the whole ancient relics and temples and shit. Move to the breathing room. We are the husband. Super. Everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. Oh god, bullet holes. They're everywhere. I see you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Hey, uh, you come join me. No end. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Yeah. You can see that. You would like to watch me get my sweat on. You want to spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant Kane. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prep. I'll see you in there, Marine. So, what's his malfunction? Hmm. Nick ain't been himself lately. 
We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. I bloody want to hope so. Everybody here needs to be ready. Or we dead. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk? You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? True fact. So this must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Satellite guy. <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. Sir. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Um, do they not know we're married? Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. How did you not get the surname correlation? His work got shot. Sir, I'm so sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. <laughs> if it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Okay. Shut up. I hope the bandwidth can cope with the data. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. And I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. Confidential. What is this place anyway? Operation Iraq survey like group. Uh, that's exactly blah, what it blah, is. Blah, blah, blah. activity. Like Soren district workers failed to make contact two weeks ago. Presumed robbed and killed. Off with her head. <laughs> uh, wouldn't okay. surprise me. Maybe when we're done, I'll let you spin me around a little. As long as you don't step on my foot. Manny Sherman executed. Nope. American overseas. Mission accomplished. I'm trying to read here. Oh, solo eclipse. Neat. It's a bit abrupt. Wish I could have finished reading that. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear it with me first. Uh, I should have warned Why you. Why is his face a different color before. to his neck? It's like he's wearing That's on me. concealer or foundation. But things escalated. His face, it's wrong color. I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rach. Somehow I doubt that very much. The hell happened in your marriage? This is from Doc Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? I mean, why else would we be here, right? <laughs> 1,500 hours. What are we looking for? Fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That's supposed to mean something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh. Why is he wearing sunglasses address. indoors? It's so pretentious. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. 
Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect it's where Saddam's chemical weapons are uh -huh. hidden. That's what we're looking for. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM well, has given thanks. the green light to raid the Get facility excited just and yet. seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The army is giving us a ride I out there. I don't really understand the map, but sure. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Why does he always look like he's looking down? His head's always tilted now down. Up. Looks There's awkward. Been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. That's tribal territory out there, Colonel. They all have their heads on weird angles. Those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah. Too many birds could bring them down on us. We move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, it could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Um, yeah, I guess. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. We're totally dead. Due respect, I think that's the wrong so do I. Call. I think we're so With dead. With all due respect, Lieutenant <laughs> Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. This feel right to you? Merwin has a point. If we spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. Any concerns, see me after the briefing. We go dark until weapons are secured. If we don't break radio sounds within 24 hours, CENTCOM will mount a rescue operation. A lot of shit can go down in 24 hours. Yeah. I'll quit being a bitch. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen, this is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. Larisse, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. I'm getting this tingle down the back of my neck. Oh, sweetie. Look, good rub down will sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. I got a real bad feeling about this. We should have just listened to Joey and abandon ship. I'm spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm going to download the latest satellite data. You can have some alone time with him. Thank you, Clarice. Eric, we need to talk. Now's really not the There's time, lady. I tell you. you should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Mm. I don't know. I don't know which way to go with this. This isn't about us, Eric. I just want things to go back to the way Because they she's work. an adulteress, so it's really hard to deal with it, but I don't know the history of their marriage. How we left it, things weren't so great. That's no excuse to cheat on the man. We've been through worse. Make a clean break, then you a go on with your new love. Stupid, tacky woman. <sighs> Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach, don't say that. You're not wearing your wedding ring. <clears throat> hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. She got in that box of tricks anyway. What the huh, fuck okay. is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. Tacky gold chain. 
Wait for the download, speak to the team, inspect the briefing room. I thought it was R1 for bearing, but it doesn't seem to be. I was just going to explain my choice, since it just sort of doesn't give me a chance to do that, why I chose to delay the helicopter. Uh, if you guys have seen the bad ending of Man of Medan, you will understand my reasoning. At the end of Man of Medan, depending on the decisions you've made throughout it and whatnot, and what you've succeeded to do and what you failed to do, you think you're being rescued by a helicopter. But in order to contain what they think may be uh, escaped contaminants, they shoot you down and kill you. And then no one survives. That's the real bad ending of Man of Medan. So I'm afraid that if I have the air support ready too early, they're going to gun us down as we try to escape. I mean, that could still happen because they're coming in eventually in like 24 hours. But that, that's my reasoning. I, I didn't want them there prematurely because I, I thought it might end in the our death. So <laughs> that's why I chose to keep the air support out. That may be a bad decision, but I'm just feeling a little burned from Man of Medan. Uh, okay, um, what can we inspect? I still don't really understand the map. But I guess that's okay that I don't understand the map. What else we got that's shiny? Look at this. They're a bit wonky with the controls. Multinational Division South. Okay, doesn't really tell me much. Who the hell's whistling, yo? Hi, Joey. You think we'll bag Chemical Ali at this facility? If he's in the vicinity, we'll get him. <laughs> that almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind a desk. Hmm. <laughs> Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need them. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Maybe air support would have been the good Can idea. Take a step back and think oh about God. this. Oh, God. I've made my decision. I'm going to regret my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? No. Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. <laughs> Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're going to clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. I like Joey. I'm going to get Joey killed. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Uh... So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I'm reassuring. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any assistance with the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage, Colonel. Climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. How is he a pencil pusher? He's the one who's going to be keeping you alive, yo. Ah, the order. Urgent results needed. Acting CR Rachel King Confidential. With the survey group becoming operational today, it is imperative to stress the need for mission success. Our military operations need a clear and compelling end state. US forces have been engaged to end the threat to the international community from Iraq weapons of mass destruction. Until we prove that threat, we cannot rightly justify the invasion under international law. With the cessation of hostilities, the risk of the regime destroying evidence of WMD is heightened. The survey group needs to move quickly to identify and exploit WMD sites and personnel. Our allies in the international community need reassurance that our intelligence services are sound. We look forward to intelligence services. I've never quite heard that phrasing before. We look forward to your reports. Signature Simon Fuller, SG Operations Head, Director of Human Intelligence, DIA. Confidential and personnel. Got it. How much longer is this briefing going to take? What is this? This looks like a bomb. Okay, great chat. Is this what I think it is? WP, sir. 
White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke. That's all. Uh, these are unauthorized. Okay, just for cover. <laughs> these are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. Okay, so they're unauthorized. After all, unauthorized. Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. It's a very valid point. I like it. We ignoring her? Yes, we are. Okay, well, no one else to talk to. What, what, what else do we have to do here? Oh, I can't go in the outer rim? Oh, I can. There's just literally nothing there. Yeah, I can't check my bearings even though I'm supposed to. Anyone to talk to? Anything else to interact with? Anything else to do? No? Cool, can we get on with it then, please? Have we already interacted with what's back here? Oh, that's the flooding newspaper we didn't get to finish earlier. Yep, cool. Okay. Oh, again? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Downloads complete. I'm never gonna be able to read this goddamn Get newspaper. What? What? This dude's familiar. You wanna ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. What do you think of him? I take it you're talking about the skipper? He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. Your hat's stupid. Just FYI. I hate bucket hats. Salim. Hoffman. Grandpa is stubborn courageous. Oh, are we going to be playing some of the enemy as well? We're all in it together to survive? Or are these the friendly Iraqi soldiers? God, I don't even know. I'm going to say they must be the friendly Iraqi soldiers. It's a nice present you got there. Who's it for? Zane! And a gate! Zane? Just as well I put subtitles on, hey? Actually, it had minimal subtitles on, so I probably would have done the translations. Find Zane, search Zane's room. I don't read Arabic. Happy birthday, Zane. Please. Zane? Uh, my boy's Please becoming help. a man. My boy's dad. Yeah, put it down. High gate. A university shield. The board has approved your application. To read mythology BA. What does that mean? Um, self risk conditional upon your green to fulfill these things, to have the right, uh, I'm going to assume, grades. Uh, obtaining students' visa from the home office. Oh, UK. This is in the UK. Okay. We understand that the current world events may create complications for your visa application and relocation to the United Kingdom. I assure you that the facility, sorry, the faculty will assist in and support your visa application in every way. Okay. So does that mean the kids come with us or does dad know something about mythology? Because his kid is like majoring in mythology. Oh god, your kid looks weird. Uh -huh. Look at that smile. It's creepy. Oh, why is it bent over so that your your wife's not in the picture? That's all good. I guess she's no longer in the picture. Ha 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 ha. Um, there's an upstairs, isn't there? Oh, there's a room back here. Get in there, soldier. Get in! That was... The struggle was real. Okay, empty room. Super. I assume this is my room. God, we are so zoomed in. Okay, my room is not what we want. Nothing to interact with. Zane? Where is your son? Mesopotamian mythology by Shaki Amanat. I like Mesopotamia. This usually after the age of the Akkadians. 
and Sumerians. I'm more the Babylonians. <laughs> The heavens were no place for mortals. The Sumerians believed that the sky was formed on a configuration of domes, each hewn from a different precious stone. That sounds delightful. The outermost dome embodied An, the god of the sky. The middle dome was home to the gods of heaven, and the lowermost dome was the abode of the stars. The number of domes varied between three and seven. The number seven itself had magical properties and recurs frequently throughout Mesopotamian myth. Seven demons, seven thrones, seven spirits, and the seven gates of the underworld. To the Sumerians, the stars and planets each had their own deities. Utu was the sun. Nana, later altered as Suen or Sin, was the moon. I have only ever heard it as Sin, so that's news to me. Nurgle was ascribed to Mars. Nurgle is the god of the dead. Nabu to Mercury, Marduk to Jupiter. Marduk was the main god in um, Babylon. Inanna to Venus, in Ninarta to Saturn. The heavens were truly the abode of the divine, and the earth below was given to humans. No soul could travel upwards in this worldview. Instead, they were confined to their earthly domain, even in death. It is no wonder that the Sumerians were among the world's first astronomers. They charted the position of stars, identified planets, and plotted the movement of constellations. Although surviving records from the period are incomplete, it is now widely believed that the discoveries of Mesopotamian astronomy were passed on to the Western world and from the basis of the classical Grecian sky maps, because the Greeks are often attributed to uh, advanced astronomical knowledge. So that's an intriguing theory. Can we find more? Mesopotamian mythology throughout our travels because I would like that. You're going through your son's shit? Do not recommend. Has he been stealing? What is this? <laughs> Old school phones. Hello. Uh, hello, Anna Salim. Salim Garkun, Abu Zain. Hey, we're got. Who was Zain? Ma, ma. Who was Zain? My abnik. Tariq. Hey, what? Tariq. Who are they? Stone goods, yeah. No, no. All is fine. It's okay. It's Eid Milad, and I got you a gift. آه لما يرجع ابعته لي حالا ما اقدرش اقول امتى هيجي انت عارف الولاد اي وقت ابعته لي لو سمحت طبعا لا 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 يا ديني مش دلوقتي اه كابتن بصري اهلا انا ملاز لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي ها وي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ ما حدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا so we are technically the enemy we been the Iraqis تاكيد يلا so they're coming to kill us at the temple. This is not going to end well. I must find my son. Uh... Oh boy. Oh boy. Her gal be door yep. Khalas ya dar. Di akhir muhimma. Coyote two, this is mailman two one actual. We're on approach, ready to go dar. Over. So we're Jason. Okay. Eighteen fifteen. It's so bright at 1815. Good God. Can someone just cross themselves? 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 Can someone just cross them
Yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look, your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, now I got a fucking ear infection. Well, damn. How long you been sitting on that one? Oh, yeah, you like that? I got a shit ton more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? That's between the sheets. It's a bit disrespectful to your commanding officer. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. <laughs> hey, what the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWAC CP on four hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Hey, you okay? Yeah, I'm straight. Yeah, I think we can trust this dude. What's going on in there? Yeah, he's a bit whack. Just some shit I gotta work through, man. It's all good. I'm chill. Okay, okay. Well, you got your back. Don't let your shit get me Man, killed, bro. I know it. Let's get him killed first. Then we don't have to worry about him just uh, stabbing us in the back or, you Semper know, five. not being on point and getting us killed. Semper Fi? What's that? Some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what? It's supposed to be lucky? Is she not a Marine? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Is she, an, is she army? Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. It's no wonder you get your ass shot off. We're good to go, Marines. It's what we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're going to succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah!